Hello and welcome to our final week of Holy Troublemakers TV. I'm Christy Winveen, the Minister for Faith Formation, and I am so glad you have come for our final episode of the season. We are made of stories and stardust. We tell the stories of holy troublemakers and unconventional saints, people of faith who have worked for love, justice, and compassion to inspire us, make us bold, and connect us to each other and the love that makes us one. This past school year, we have been looking through various holy troublemakers and unconventional saints and learning about them. We have learned about these bold people of faith, and I don't know about you, but I have learned a lot, and even discovered other holy troublemakers along the way, even besides the ones that Deneen Akers has written in her book, Holy Troublemakers and Unconventional Saints, that has inspired this entire year of work. If you are having a little hard time remembering some of our friends, you can either go back and watch some of the videos, or I'll do a quick summary for you now. We kicked off the year with Bayard Rustin, a black gay man who worked for civil rights and nonviolence. Father Broderick Greer taught us about sanctified imagination and using it to have a conversation with our sacred texts. And in these conversations, we might gain new insights and ways of understanding our scriptures. Rabbi Daniel Ruttenberg reminded us that we can love God when we care for creation. We also were reminded to be amazed and radically amazed by the world around us. Gustavo Gutierrez showed us how to imitate Jesus as we strive to care for people that are on the margins and outside of our communities. And he taught us how to liberate them or gave us some ideas on how to liberate them. Herb Montgomery reminded us that Jesus came to show us how to live. Caitlin Curtis welcomed us to learn about origin stories, both the origin stories in faith traditions, but also our own origin stories. Taknit Han brought the idea of being a Buddha and also to be peaceful inside so that we can bring peace to others. Maryam Mokara taught us how to be true to ourselves, and when we are true to ourselves, it frees others. Wengari Mathai reminded us that a single action can lead to a movement that restores the environment through her planting of trees and the Green Belt Movement. Our faith tradition is focused on Jesus and his life here on earth and his ministry. And so we spent Lent thinking about the Jesus movement and how Jesus was a holy troublemaker and unconventional saint who flipped tables and welcomed all people to the kingdom of God. And so now I pose the question to you, what kind of holy troublemaker are you? So here's some things you can do. Grab a piece of paper and make a list of the things that you care about the things that are important to you, the things that are injustices in this world, and then pick one. And pick one and make some steps of what you are going to do to take action. Remember, being a holy troublemaker does not mean that you get to pose violence on other people. So if any of your ideas to fix the problem are violent ones, that is not the way to go. We remember, we are using non-violent ways of changing the world. Once you have your ideas and you pick one, do your steps. You might like to draw a picture of it, or maybe you might like to do a collage or a vision board of what it will look like when you achieve some of your goals. But also remember that it only takes a single step. You don't have to fix the problem, but you can do a step to go in the right direction, a step to take action. All right, so instead of a prayer at this moment, I will extend a blessing from Rabbi Tarfan. I bless you. My hands are holding out, reaching out to you. Do not be daunted by the enormity of grief. Do justly now. Love mercy now. Walk humbly now. You are not obligated to complete the work, but neither are you free to abandon it.